Hey everybody, welcome back to Toxic ATV, and today we are playing a game to chill and relax. This is Let's Play Osmos, the chilled edition. And you know, we're playing this because it's Christmas time and we need to chill a bit more. As you can see, I've completed a few of these levels. I'm gonna show each and every one of them. Um, each of the branches actually has another kind of category that is going on, but it's more or less the same. So I'm just gonna show you off all the gaming modes and you can chill and relax while I play it. So I hope you enjoy. Actione contrarium semper ad equalem esse reactem. For every reaction, there is an equal and opposite reaction. From Sir Isaac Newton. Very smart man he is. This is you. You're kind of a puffy ball with blue stuff in it and DNA. What you need to do, you have, see that crosshair around you? Well, that propels you in the opposite direction. So I'll press this, it will pro propel myself to the right. What we need to do is to prepare, propel ourselves to the right direction by ejecting balls of matter. And we chillfully slide into that circle. Let's absorb some targets. Targets that are smaller than you, you can't absorb. So you need to get taller by absorbing smaller targets first. And afterwards, you can absorb them, right? Pretty easy example. Right here. All right, now we get to the first level, ambient welcome. The reason why I like this game so much is it's more of a modern version of Frogger, I think, and um, it's very soothing because of the background music. There are a few very good artists that are probably, you probably never heard of because they're not that, you know, they're not that famous than just a Bieber or something, but yeah, they actually do much better art than just a Bieber does, though. Right. So our task was to and great means that you have to surpass this white line and eat enough moats to become as big as you want. You can zoom out, we're just as big as this one. As soon as you become really big or the greatest in the, in the pool of things, you can eat everything. But yeah, that completed the level. This one is actually another task, become the biggest. So it, it will be, this white line will actually traverse, and if there is a dude that is, let's say, has more than half of the moats eaten, you will not complete the level. But I think we're pretty good off here. I think we can make it. It's not that hard. The first levels, they are not that hard at all. There we are. They get quite annoying in the further parts. Force reception, become the biggest. Now, we are now in an orbit of a planetoid that we do probably not want to touch because it will eat us. And we are on an orbit that can be changed by ejecting matter from yourself. So, I don't really like this part because it's, you know, it's quite annoying to, you know, get all the mode parts. Also, you have to look out and not get eaten to stay on the stable orbit. Because that one right there would have actually killed us. That was actually not quite bad. And we will manage to complete this if we eat that one. And this one. Uh, maybe another one will suffice. By the big one. Yeah, bigger ones can actually eat you. I want to eat you now. It's 
like drinking from other things. Like when the Futurama episode where Fry drank the Emperor on this hot planet. This is a repulsor. Repulsors do not like you. As soon as you approach them, they will try to flee. And also you have to be as big as them to actually be able to eat them. What I usually do when pursuing the goal of eating the repulsor, I become the biggest of the boats. And afterwards, I just try to hunt it down. Because the repulsor is actually pretty fast. That's a repulsor. He doesn't like anyone. So excuse my French if my voice sounds a bit, you know, iffy. But I've got a cold and still wanted to record this game though. So let me just eat everything up here. And now let's hunt the thing that can. Yoink. <laughs> Artificial life. Gee, I love the music. This is the ovarium. Ovariums actually can eat everything, I believe. Yeah, they can eat everything. Even though it's bigger than orcs, bigger than they are. And ovariums, they don't like us if we are big. finish the middle thing up. Um, did I just glitch out the thing? I don't know. Maybe I did. Um, you can choose between three paths. And, um, yeah, let's just choose that one. The blue one. Ambient welcome. Become the biggest. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try. You can try to zoom out. This is more of a very friendly environment right now. Um, the environments can get pretty big and pretty disturbing. And now they're moving, so you gotta act quite quick to become bigger and bigger. So complete it. Another force reception. That one's kind of a doozy by becoming the biggest let's eat you let's eat you let's eat you if you act quickly on the insertion of the level you will actually be quite fast in completing what you have to do what I usually do never go in the orbit and try to be the one that to the planet if you're not careful enough. But due to your position, uh, you will be able to pick up more matter on the way. Level completed. There we are. Yeah, I know that. This is a repulsor, and we need to absorb it in an 
ever, wow, ever so slightly fast moving environment. Always be aware of your environment, because um, it can happen that you move too quickly and you might not be able to eat someone else and then you look right into your doom. Survival of the fittest. Become huge. Which basically means... Don't get eaten. <laughs> Something like that. You really have to be careful. And um, this is pretty hard to Pretty hard level. So you have so many enemies eating stuff that you have to watch out that you stay big enough to eat all of them. Right. Yeah. The Nemesides. They're quite fun. The Nemesides is basically the hardest enemy that you get in this game. Uh, they're basically just like me. They float around, eat stuff, eat stuff pretty quickly and they try to hunt me as well. Oh dear. I don't see anything good coming out of that one. Yeah. I want to eat that one. Yep. Great. He probably is bigger than me now. But we have to change that. What you should never do is like go always in the opposite direction. That 
that way you just really use use up too much well mass to get somewhere. Always try to go with the flow. That's basically what this game is all about. He's still not blue. He's, he's changing to get blue now, which means I can now eat him. Come on. I want to eat that. Don't cheat my stuff. Yeah. Absorb three nemesites. Well, that's a bummer. We gotta act quicker. Thank you. 
like no food at all you have all these um, um, biospheres biophobes and nemesites and uh, it's it's not easy getting around you know? it's, it's really ridiculous what I usually would do is like slow down things first also um, slow down things first try to eat one of the one of them dudes first. Try to eat the bifo or something. Uh, didn't get that one. We can eat that one if we are lucky. Yep. Alright. Try to eat that one. And on our way, let's try eat that one too. Too much propelling. Alright. I hate that one and that one. Okay, we can do this. We can eat actually this dude as well. Alright. Let's speed up things a bit. Okay, I can I can get that. I can eat two of the biospheres or biophobes. I will eat you because you're a big guy. Or I will eat you. Things unknown. For matters unknown, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, I did it. Wow. Become huge. Wow. Whew. You gotta be kidding me, aren't you? As I said, this game likes to become a bit harder. Oh, the thing still lives. What the hell, man? You gotta be good in propelling yourself somewhere. And go with the flow. It's always important. that by the way deep ambient oh I think actually that one's no that's not good that's not the one that I wanted where's ascension where's the one that I'm searching for ambient impasse yeah antimatter that's a pretty cool one now Antimatter is actually the inverse of matter, so whenever I eat antimatter, it actually just eats up my matter. Simple enough, right? So, don't eat the antimatter at all, or else you will be screwed in one or the other way. Now, um, there's actually another game mode that I want to show you. I'm just going to fish it. That one. Oh yeah, Biosphere. You can see down the soundtrack which uh, which songs they are. Very very good artists. So if you're really into that music, look up all the artists. They really do have a lot of more songs that are pretty awesome. Yeah. Let me just uh, quit to main menu. I want to show you something else. Um, where is that? Ambient impasse. Is that something like that? Can't remember. Become huge. Yeah, that's what it is. Now you're so you're stuck in this membrane of insane matter things and blobs, and 
you need to kind of propel other people with the momentum that you let out by doing all these little tiny things. You need to propel them into matter or antimatter so they become smaller. And then you start eating them. See? Now they get smaller, now I can eat them. That's what I'm gonna do though. Now that opened up a path right there. What you also want to do is propel the antimatter somewhere where it can't, you know, touch you that much. No, not the matter. Gee. Uh-oh. That was bad maneuvering, maneuvering, mister. No, oh, I can see there's something that we can go to at. Now that needs some careful maneuvering as well. And that's why I need to slow down time a bit. I kind of feel like the dude from Braid. I don't know if you remember that name. Or that game for that matter. I've actually played it on my other channel. Pretty awesome game. It's where you can, you know, get time to flow faster and slower and whatnot. actually had a very 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 good um, puzzle I don't know where it is no that's not the one not the map not the map yeah matter antimatter that was that's what I said ah there we are that's a very clever puzzle you need to become huge and what you need to do you need to fire at these let time speed up so they move slowly because you you know just squirted in them and as soon as they touch that one which might be a while you could start shooting at these guys Saw this thing, I, I don't know, it took me so much time, I don't know, even though I'm a physicist. Oh, I'm gonna eat you up, mister. Mm. Oh! Nom 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 nom. Alright. So, um, I don't even know if they're actually secret levels, um, but yeah, that's Osmos. It's actually out for the iPad and the iPhone, I think. It's pretty cool. Pretty good game, um, very soothing, and yeah, I just wanted to share that experience with you. So, if you haven't heard of this game, try to get it. Um, I guess uh, since I'm not gonna play new games till Christmas, um, I wish every one of you happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and maybe Happy New Year. I be glad to see you in 2012. No, that's 2013, right? The next year, if the um, world doesn't end on 21st or 22nd, whatever it is. So, yeah. Thank, thanks for your support, and uh, I'll see you around, guys. Bye.